Hey guys, so we are on to our second full week of our AMDM class. Uh, this first lesson is ratios in media. What that means is we are focusing on uh, things like the screen of a calculator or uh, a big flat screen TV. So there's, there's some huge size TVs now. And we're saying, what is the aspect ratio? And we'll kind of explain exactly what that is, but uh, it's just going over the fact that when they say a 72 inch TV, 48 inch TV, that's the diagonal measure, not straight across at the TV. And so what's the aspect ratio, meaning what's the length and the width uh, to provide the image? All right, so that's where we're gonna jump in. We're gonna kind of look back at using the Pythagorean theorem from geometry and make sure you got that because it's gonna be beneficial for uh, doing this lesson today. All right, so here we go. As we look at uh, this first example, number one, we see that we have 3x squared. So with 3x squared, basically that means we have 3x times 3x. You don't have to write this out, uh, this part right here, but that's just stating that we have 9x squared. This one is the same general concept, saying that we have 5x and 5x, meaning it's squared, so there's two of them. So that would leave us with a 25x squared equals to 25. These are like terms. So anytime you have like terms, you can box them, you can do a circle, whichever you'd like right there. And it leaves us with 34x squared equals 225. And then if we're trying to get our x squareds by ourselves, by itself, we got to divide by 34, divide by 34. So that leaves us with x squared equals 6.25, or excuse me, 6.62. So with 6.62, in order to get our x by itself, we got to square root both sides. So that leaves us with x equals 2.57. All right, I'll let you guys try two, but it's going to be very similar uh, in the process. So if you're going through and you're like, let me just check my answer, you're going to end up with 2.16. But just remember that you're going to have 16x squared, 100x squared equals 450. Combine like terms to buy. All right, so that is is just a rehash. Then if you take you back to your geometry year, so in your sophomore year for most of you guys, uh, that is looking to find a side you don't know. We used to go over this in geometry like this with you guys. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So your A is a side, your B is a side, and then your C is your hypotenuse. So we would say, in this case, 3 squared plus 4 squared equals our hypotenuse, or we don't know squared. So it's 9 plus 16 equals x squared. 25 equals x squared. Square root, square root, x equals 5. All right, so that would tell us our missing side, or our long side in this case, is our hypotenuse. Same general concept here, just remember this is your hypotenuse, so we would have to set it up. We're still a squared plus b squared equals c squared, but we would have 8 squared plus, we don't know, squared, because we don't know what our x is, equals, the hypotenuse must always be over here on the side that has the c. All right, and then you guys will be able to work that out, get your 64 and then 17 squared. Same general concept here. We've got 8 squared plus x squared equals 10 squared, and you're trying to find your x. All right, so that's review. So I'll let you guys finish off that part of your notes when you submit those in the Dropbox. So what's new and what we're looking at here today is finding the aspect ratio. So it shows you uh, on your sheet that the aspect ratio is width compared to your height. So width divided by height, you can show it as a fraction, you can show it as the, the two dots for the ratio of the screen. And we are saying on this screen, when we're looking here, we've got this outlined area of your calculator to show that that's 2.44 inches and 1.63 inches. So this is gonna give us our um, length or our width and our height. Our width and our height are going to be important because that's your aspect ratio. So you can write that as 2.44 and then have your aspect ratio symbol and then 1.63 and that would be totally fine because that's going to give us uh, the same information of width and height. Or you could write that as 2.44 over 1.63 and both of them are going to give you your aspect ratio. So this 
and this our aspect ratio. All right, now if it asks for what's called the scale factor, that is just dividing this. So if you take 2.44 and divide it by 1.63, it's going to give you 1.5. So that would be your scale factor if they ask for that information. So aspect ratio is just setting it up as a ratio or a fraction. Scale factor is where they are wanting to know what that specific number is. All right, so now let's put that all together. Let's take the Pythagorean theorem information that we figured out. And those old TVs, uh, some of them were still, I guess, flat screen-ish, but they looked like big boxes. Uh, they had an aspect ratio of 4 to 3. Now, widescreen TVs, for the most part, uh, have 16 uh, to 9 ratio. And th that ratio is still you know, there, obviously, the clarity of picture with LED and plasma and 4K and all the stuff that you have available. Um, that can change and vary, but just looking at our general aspect ratio, uh, we're going to take an old one, which was 4.3, and a new one, which is six, uh, compared 16 and 9. All right, so find the width and the height of the older TV. We need to know how to use the Pythagorean theorem because we see this is 25, but we don't know our A and our B. And so we would say, all right, well, I know it's an aspect ratio of 4, 3. So we would put this in as 4x, because we don't know, but we do know it's a 4 to 3 ratio. And then this one would in turn be 3x, because we don't know. And we do know that it's 25 for our, here, let me put this as a c squared initially, and then obviously we're seeing it's changed to 25. Then it becomes very similar to what we did up above. So we see that this is 16x squared, this is 9x squared, 25 squared is 225. Combine like terms, we get 25x squared equals 225. Oh, excuse me. There we go. Uh, equals 625. Then divide by 25, divide by 25, x squared equals 25. Take your square root, take your square root, and x equals 5. All right, now, when we know that x equals 5, that's not necessarily saying, oh, this is you know a 5-inch wide TV, because um, we said, well, 25 inches is going to be the diagonal portion, so a 5 just wouldn't work out there. But we do know that the height is an aspect ratio of 3x, and then the width an aspect ratio of 4x. So if x is 5, then that would be 4 times 5, or 20. And this height would be 3 times 5, which is 15. All right, so it's a 25-inch TV, but your width is 20, and your height is 15. All right, and then with our new TV, we have an aspect ratio of 16 to 9. So we see that we have a 48 inch TV, looks a little more modern, looks like something that you would see um, more often. So we see that we've got this triangle, so we know that we still have our a squared plus b squared equals c squared Pythagorean theorem. We know that our c is 48. We don't know our a and our b, but we do know our aspect ratio of 16 to 9. So then from there, we can plug that in the calculator. 16 squared is 256 x squared. 9 squared is 81 x squared. And we know 48 squared from the hypotenuse. Then we combine like terms. So we have 337 x squared equals 48 squared is 2,304. Divide by 337, divide by 337. So x squared equals the, the 6.84, so 6.84, take the square root of that, take the square root of that, so x equals 2.61. All right, again, that's giving us our x value, but our height is 9x, and our width is 16x, because we have that aspect ratio of 9 to 16, so then we plug that in. Uh, the calculator, and we see that 16 times 2.6, so times 2.61 uh, when we substitute in for x, 
is going to end up giving us 41, so our width is 41.8 inches, and then our height, when we substitute in the x value of 2.61, so times 2.61, is going to leave us with a value of 23.5 inches. All right, so that tells us that the 48-inch TV, like if you have somewhere that you're trying to put it, like an area on the wall or you're measuring out, uh, then you're looking at 41.8 inches wide to make sure that it's center or maybe it fits in a certain area, and then the height is going to be 23.5 inches. All right, so that's lesson one, and we will have one more lesson with changing tires. All right, guys.